Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a detailed review on this Bun 10 Cup Programmable Coffee Maker. So I just purchased this off of Amazon. It cost $130. So I had a viewer ask me to do a, a review on it. I wasn't sure if they were still making them. It's been out of stock on Amazon and, and other stores, so I really wasn't sure if they were currently making it. But they are still showing it on their um, website for Bun, and they are back in stock on Amazon. So I really love my 10 cup bun coffee maker, my speed brew, but this one's programmable. So you can wake up in the morning with a full pot of coffee. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about the coffee maker then I'm gonna make a full 10 cup pot of coffee with it. Okay, so first thing with a bun coffee maker, you have to use a bun coffee filter. You cannot use a reusable filter and you can't use a standard 10 to 12 cup basket style filter. The basket style filters for, that are made by Bun are a little bit taller and you need to use those in these coffee makers. So it comes with their standard 10 cup glass carafe with their drip free lid. This is really nice. It does have a warming plate. Here's the filter basket. This is where you're going to put the filter and the coffee. Then up top, here's where you're going to add the water. So this coffee maker works under, you're going to put the water in hit the brew button, or if you do a program brew, like it turns itself on automatically in the morning, in this chamber, it's gonna heat the water, and then after it heats the water, then it will send it through the filter basket and brew your coffee. So Bun does a really good job on their box explaining this. It talks about the heating element. So you're gonna put the water in up here. It's gonna sit there. It's gonna get heated. Now it takes about six minutes for it to heat up. Once it's fully heated all the water, then there's this temperature activated valve which opens up and then allows the water to go through the brew basket brew your coffee into the coffee pot and then at the bottom you've got a whole nother the warming plate that keeps the coffee warm okay so let's look at the control panel so if you want to brew a pot of coffee right now you're just going to come up here and hit the brew button and it turns red and there's, it'll walk you through the uh, brewing process the screen will show that it's heating the tip the heating the water and then it's brewing now if we want to set the clock We've got these hour and minute buttons. You're going to press this clock button right here. Set clock. I really like how it says that. Set the clock, whatever time it is. This is your current time in your house. And it does have AM and PM. So that's nice. So hit the clock button again and it memorizes it. Now we want the auto start. So this bun coffee maker will start automatically whatever time you set. And it'll brew your full pot of coffee or if you want just a half a pot. So hit the auto start button. It says auto start. Now change the time. What time do you want it to start? I want it to start about 5.15 a.m. Okay, so then those numbers, the 5.15 was, was flashing and they, it went away and now the auto start light is lit. So when I go to bed, this thing will start in the morning. If that light is on, you've got your water in and your coffee in. So if you want to double check it, come up here, hit the auto start button. Yep, that's the time. And if you just let it sit there, it will memorize it. And then it will go back to that light is lit. So say you want to sleep in in the morning, you want to cancel it. Just press the button once and it cancels the auto start. So control panel is very simple to operate. I do like the, the LED clock display, it looks very nice. So it does come with this really nice manual. In the front of the manual, it talks about it being SA, SCA certified the golden cup and then also in the manual it talks about how much coffee to add so if you're only going to brew six cups of coffee just put in six to seven tablespoons we're going to do the full 10 cups so i'm going to put in 10 tablespoons now this coffee maker will brew whatever amount of water you put up here when you press that brew button or it auto starts that's how much it brews so if you only want four cups and four cups is the minimum just put four cups up here and then press the brew button and put four tablespoons in. If you want the full 10, put 10 in. Okay, so make sure you grab one bun coffee filter, put it in, make sure it's hugging the walls. Okay, so I've got my full 10 tablespoons of coffee right there in the middle. So I like to just kind of give those coffee grounds even amount. There's a slide here, you're gonna slide them in. But there's what that brew head looks like. That's where the hot water is gonna come out. So again, you just slide this in. Okay, so up here, there's this little hinge lid. There's these little steps to show us how much water we've added. We've got 10 cups, which is the max. So fill your carafe up to the 10 cup mark. And you're simply gonna pour it in. 
And again, this top chamber, this is the water's going to stay there until it gets heated up. Okay. Don't have to hurry about getting this down. It doesn't start brewing until you press the brew button. So it doesn't start coming through. Close the lid and press the brew button. So once you press the brew button, the display changed to heating. This red light is on to let you know that it's brewing. Now I started a stopwatch. It takes about five to six minutes to heat that water before it starts brewing the coffee. Now it does say if you want to speed up this process, you can use hot water. So if you want to turn your tap water to hot and get some nice hot water out of the, out of the faucet, it will speed that time up a little bit. Okay, so let's, while we're waiting, let's see how tall it is. It's right at about 19 and a half inches with the lid up. Front to back, you're looking at about nine and a half inches. It does have a three prong cord. So again, if you're used to the bun speed brews, you'll know that as soon as you put the water in and close the lid, they start brewing because they have a tank in the back that keeps the water hot all the time. This coffee maker is not like that at all. It heats whatever water you put in there, and when you press the brew button, it has to heat it first. Then it brews it all at once at a nice, steady rate. Okay, so it's been about four and a half minutes. You can start to hear the water boiling up here. It's, it's getting really hot. Now that valve, it opens up. It's really quiet. You don't hear it. You'll just all of a sudden start seeing the coffee flow through. And be careful. This gets really hot on the outside. Okay, so I heard just kind of like a little thump, just a little thump, and now the water is flowing through the filter basket. Right at the six and a half minute mark. Okay, so the water that's coming out, or the coffee, it's about 180, but it's gonna ramp up to almost 200 degrees really quick. 183. 186. Okay, so about seven and a half minute mark, we're at 196, the coffee coming out the bottom of that. The display changed from heating to brewing now. Now this does not have this doesn't have any kind of drip stop. So you do have to once it's once it's done completely brewing, it is gonna drip for just a little bit. Now, after it's done brewing the full pot of coffee, it does turn the warming plate on. The warming plate stays on for two hours, automatically shuts off after two hours. And you'll know that because the red light around this brew, right, blue, brew button stays on. Now, this thing has a special feature. So say after two hours you come back, the, the red light is off and the heating element is off. You can turn that heating element back on, that warming plate, just the warming plate. By holding that brew button for about four or five seconds, the red light comes on around it. That turns just the warming plate on. That's a really nice feature. If you want to warm up your coffee again, you can turn that warming plate back on. And then again, after two hours, it'll shut off again. Okay, so nine minutes, 10 seconds. The water's, the coffee coming out the bottom is 197, 199. So you really do have to wait for the whatever amount you fix to finish before you can, you can grab a cup. So if you're going to program this to come on for you automatically in the morning, give yourself about 15 minutes before you're ready to drink a cup of coffee. And during this whole process, this has been a really quiet coffee maker. I mean, towards when it finished heating the water up at the top, there was a little bit of a boiling sound, but man, nothing too major. Okay, so we're getting towards the end, about the nine cup mark. We're still at 197. Okay, so at the 11, 11 minute mark, it's just dripping still. It still says brewing. Okay, so at the 12 minute mark, it's pretty much stopped dripping, but it still says brewing. I could grab a cup of coffee right now. Okay, so let's grab a cup of coffee. Again, these bun coffee makers, they pour really nice. All right, let's see how hot that cup of coffee is. That's a really hot cup of coffee, 178 degrees. So I, I've been drinking the coffee out of this coffee maker. It tastes delicious. It makes a really good cup of coffee and it's hot. So the display finally changed from brewing to now it just shows the current time. 
but the red light around this brew button is still on and that'll stay that keeps the warming plate on for two hours so start to finish is right around 13 minutes okay so let's take a look at the filter basket see how it did so it did a really good job brewing it, it doesn't go it doesn't overflow the filter so make sure you're using the correct filter but it's got a nice even distribution around the coffee grounds and once I empty this filter, um, this basket is dishwasher safe, along with the carafe. So where this coffee maker shines is being able to wake up in the morning to a really hot pot of coffee. If you can set it about 15 minutes before you're ready to drink your cup of coffee, this will be a really nice cup of coffee. The cleanup is very simple. I'm very happy with this purchase. Thanks everybody for watching.